Hey guys, thanks for joining me for an extreme nighttime cleaning routine and plan with me. I'm going to be bringing you along two nights after my kids go to bed. I'm going to be cleaning up some big time messes. I'm also going to be doing some everyday cleaning, some deep cleaning, showing you two super easy family friendly meals, trying to get it all done with my kids around, showing you my weekly to-do list, weekly planning, our weekly meal plan, pantry organization, and so much more. I'll also be testing out new cleaning products and hopefully giving you the motivation that you need to get something done. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get motivated. Hey guys, thank you for taking time out of your busy day, out of your busy schedule to watch my video. I am truly glad you're here and I hope that you walk away from this video with a smile on your face and you feel good. So like I said earlier, we are going to be cleaning throughout two nights and on night one, Mike had the twins upstairs getting ready for bed and avery and i were planning on working together to get the downstairs cleaned up she loves organizing the pillows on the couch and the blanket she actually takes really great pride in it and folding the blanket perfectly so i let her do that and i went in to clean up the messy mess messy kitchen and not only in this video are you going to see two nights of cleaning but you're also going to see two recipes that we made for our family i'm going to be sharing with you how i plan out my weekly to-do list how i try to stay on top of things when the busy week starts and also what we're eating throughout the week um Oh, and then a new cleaning product. So I'm going to be trying that out for you guys. So a lot jam-packed in today's video. So on this first night, it was a Saturday night and we had million dollar spaghetti for dinner. I will have the re recipe linked down below, but spaghetti, any type of spaghetti or really any marinara sauce and noodles is my kids favorite, especially the twins who are definitely pickier than Avery ever or Avery is or ever was. And I think a lot of it has to do with teething. Um, but the, twi the twins have been pretty picky lately, so I've just been, you know, giving them some food. I guess what it comes down to is they just need something in their belly. So a lot of variations of noodles like baked ziti, lasagna. We had never tried Million Dollar Spaghetti before, but all three girls loved it. Now, I will admit to you that it was not my favorite. It was too cheesy for me. This recipe involves a lot of cheese, and I am not the biggest cheese person, and I know that sounds crazy. I feel like people probably look at me like, what? You don't love cheese? But honestly, I could honestly easily take it out of my diet i mean i do love it on pizza so like that would be the hard thing because pizza is my favorite food i love it on pizza and like if we make lasagna or something like that but honestly other than that i could take or leave it so don't think i'm crazy maybe i am crazy but everyone else in the house loved it so i guess that's all that matters Watch me 
just follow it. So as I was cleaning up, I had noticed there were a lot of marks and dirt on the pantry door and then especially around the garage door. And usually when I see those smudges and dirt, I just want to take care of it right away because it drives me crazy. It just makes my house feel dirty, like actually dirty and not messy. So I use some really hot water and some Dawn dish soap to wipe it all down. Now, most of the time for smudges on doors or baseboards, I will use the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray just because it's easy and convenient. But because I had a lot of actual dirt on the garage door, like mud, I wanted to use Dawn dish soap. And it's just a muddy time of the year for us. The spring is always muddy because the ground is thawing from the freezing temperatures over the winter having all of the snow um, we get rain a lot in the springtime and so there's just a lot of mud the ground is soft and with Avery coming in and out tracking in a lot of mud um, I I guess this happens but you know what it's okay because this means that summer is on its way warm weather we're outside which is good for everybody Okay, so next I wanted to clean my slider door tracking. This particular slider door tracking gets really dirty and it's the tracking that's right next to where we eat, you know, our kitchen table. So this is the one tracking door that I like to keep up on. So I had a lot on my plate for tonight, so I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing this. So I started out with my Bissell Steam Shot hand steamer. You know I love this cleaning tool. Um, and that kind of blast blasted everything up. It loosened things up, a lot of the dirt and particles. And then I went in with my Rubbermaid power scrubber and that got into all of the cracks and crevices and brought up even more dirt from the cracks. And then I went back in with my hand steamer and then finally some paper towels to wipe everything up. And honestly, this whole process took me less than five minutes. It's so quick and I try to stay on top of it so it doesn't get too out of hand. And then the last thing that I do is I go in with a regular old sponge that I got from Walmart and you cut long lines like long slits down the sponge so it fits into the window tracking. And then you just wet it with some water and you can slide it up and down and it's just kind of the finishing touch to cleaning the tracking and you can also use this as a window tracking cleaning maintenance. Okay, so next I was going to wipe down the stovetop and I was waiting on a new cleaning product to try out, which I am going to test in this video later on because I was still waiting on getting it at this point when I was filming on night one, but um, I was kind of doing something that I always do um, when I clean my glass cooktop stove and I go in with the Jaws kitchen degreaser and I let it sit. I let it sit for a few minutes and then I go in, wipe it all down. And then my second step is to use the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser to really scrub the stovetop and get anything burnt on the stovetop off. And then I let that sit for a little bit and then I go in and shine it up with my DIY cleaner, which I also use on my countertops. And that is one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and then about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap to shine it all up. And there you have it, a pretty sparkling stovetop. But I'm excited to try that new, it's called the pink stuff. So stay tuned for that because I cannot wait to see how this stuff performs. It is a highly, highly recommended cleaning product.
Then next, it was time to clean the sink. And just for time purposes, because I was trying to move as quickly as I could, I grabbed Dawn Power Wash, which I think is an amazing cleaning product. And I sprayed down my sink to scrub it all out. And as far as nighttime cleaning goes, most nights I am way too tired to do any big cleaning. Um, so most nights Mike and I work together after the kids go to bed to pick things up off of the floors, countertops, wipe down the countertops, and then we probably vacuum every other night or so. So that would be our nightly cleaning routine for the most part. But sometimes on Sunday nights, like you're seeing um, in the next video, this was Saturday night and then tomorrow night on Sunday nights, I want to do bigger cleanings. And I don't know what it is, but something about the weekend, our house is always a disaster. And I just don't like to start out the week with a super messy house. So this happens a lot, um, specifically on Sunday nights. Mike takes the girls upstairs to get ready for bed, get baths, whatever it is. And I clean up, which I think is a, you know, like good good teamwork. And usually um, I'll put on a podcast or an audiobook, and it's just therapeutic for me to kind of let my mind go, clean and get everything set up for the week. And also on Sunday nights, I plan out my week. So I sit down, I just think about what we have going on. I plan out our meals, my weekly to-do, my daily to-do list, which ends up being my weekly to-do list, which I will share all of that with you guys here in a little bit. And I know it's not an ideal way to spend time, you know, on Sunday nights, like I know most people are really tired, but I am telling you, sitting down doing it makes me feel more prepared for the upcoming week. I always wake up on Monday mornings feeling much better when I have my week planned out. I had noticed how dusty and greasy the light bulbs were, um, so I wanted to wipe them down and I was using Dawn Power Wash and a damp microfiber cloth to clean those. And then I was going to use my e-cloth stainless steel pack to wipe down my stainless steel appliances and I love e-cloths. I honestly love all of them. I think the stainless steel pack is my favorite and i do have a coupon code for 10 percent off if you want to try e-cloths out i promise you will not be disappointed they clean with just water and i have found nothing that will clean my stainless steel appliances like this they also have cloths for the stovetop that work great they have a general everyday cloth that you can use on countertops um, or just different surfaces they have one for glass and mirrors and you just wet them with water you can wash them in the washer washing machine with just without fabric softener so nothing special but they are truly great cloths If you have any cleaning products you want me to try, let me know in the comment section. I get a lot of suggestions to try out, um, or I got a lot of suggestions to try out the pink stuff. Um, I think it's pop popular in the UK, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys have been telling me how great this product is. Um, I found it on Amazon. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else here in the United States. Um, but I'm going to be trying it out later here. I was still waiting for it to come from Amazon. Um, but if you guys have any other cleaning products you want me to give a try, let me know. It can be hard because I kind of get in the 
rut of using the same products over and over because you know you find cleaning products that work that you love that's part of your cleaning routines and you know you see me using jaws which stands for just add water system so you reuse the bottles you're just plunking in like this little pod and i just i love jaws and not only are they great products but they are super super affordable and so that's my thing is i don't want to use I mean, of course, it, you know, you may use cleaning products that are expensive if they're really good cleaning products, but especially for everyday cleaning products, it's, I don't know, I like to find affordable cleaning products as well. So affordable, great cleaning products, but if there's anything else that you guys want to see me try, let me know. Um, I just don't want to be sleeping on a really good cleaning product. So here again, I had noticed some food smudges and whatever else that got splattered onto the cabinets. So I quickly grabbed my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray and wiped everything down. And it's kind of funny because, um, well, if you're new, we used to have dark cabinets. We painted them, well, we had them painted last fall. And I mean, the white cabinets definitely show more stuff, but I don't think it's as dramatic. Like I've had a lot of people say, don't go white because you'll see more stuff. And yeah, you see more stuff, but I even felt like with the dark cabinets, you could see a lot. I saw a lot of dust and anytime that the cabinets would get dinged or marked up, which does happen, you know, with kids a lot, then it constantly looked like something was on it like i could almost because it like went through this the top part of the wood so i don't know i do not regret painting i love my white cabinets um even if i have to wipe them down a little bit more frequently when my kids get messy It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't Something else I was also thinking about doing for my videos If you guys have any questions Like just general questions questions you want to know about me anything I don't know you're just curious like you know I get a lot of questions about my YouTube channel and how I started just even general questions like that um, let me know maybe I can pick a question or two and answer in the next video um, I didn't realize how much you guys like to just hear me talk about random stuff in addition to hearing me talk about cleaning stuff you guys told me that on a recent video so i'm like okay i can talk about other stuff so let me know if you have questions what you guys want to hear me talk about um but yeah i can start talking about that type of stuff more in upcoming videos oh. So it's kind of crazy as I'm looking back at this video, I have um, a fire, the fireplace going, which might seem crazy, but it was actually really chilly this evening. That's why I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas. <laughs> pajamas. Uh, Avery called me out earlier when she saw me put them on. She's like, why are you wearing your Christmas pajamas? And I'm like, hey, I can wear them whenever I want. Um, but we live in Northern, Northwest Ohio. And honestly, in the springtime, we have days where it's 70 degrees and maybe a low of 60 at night, which is really warm for this time of the year. And then the next day, it will literally be 30 degrees and snowing. Um, we even had measurable snow um, one time 
it was not just one time, but I can think of. It was the year Avery turned one. It was the week before her birthday. We got, I think, a foot of snow on the ground. So, I mean, that was very unique, but I'm just saying, like, it's not out of the realm of possibilities that we would get a foot of snow in mid to late April. So you never know what's going to happen with our weather. The last thing that I was doing on this night, on night one, was folding the laundry before going to bed and then you'll see me on day two doing some more cleaning. I'm also going to share with you another recipe as well as trying out the pink stuff and how I plan. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here so the next night, on Sunday night, it was night two, and I was making slow cooker chicken Alfredo tortellini. All three of my girls love tortellini, and you know I love cooking with my crock pot. And this is also a super easy, very minimal, basic ingredients, which means it's right up my alley. I hate to cook, so I will have this recipe linked down below. So the original recipe called for refrigerated tortellini and when I did my Walmart grocery pickup, they did not have two of these. So what I ended up doing, I just did a Target because I had the twins and I didn't feel like going in. Um, I just did a Target pickup for the frozen cheese tortellini and the recipe says that you can just slightly cook it. So you don't want to overcook it, um, but just slightly cook it and then you can use frozen with the refrigerated. So that's what I did. I kind of combined the two different kinds. We will burn. Oh, I know that you feel it too. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just let like I said, it was a Sunday and I was making out my weekly to-do list. So I always sit down, I plan out every single day what's going to be on my to-do list as well as our weekly meal plan. And I also browse meal planning and different recipes on Pinterest so I can step out of our rut and try new things and get new ideas for the kids. I've explained this before, but this is kind of how I sit down on Sunday nights and kind of plan out the week. So I have my planner right here, which I got from Personal Planner, and I like it just because you design the planner that works best for your brain. So like, I love these long columns. So every single day I pick three to five tasks that I wanna focus on. I try not to overwhelm myself because obviously this is not all that I'm doing this day. This is going, but this is just in addition to taking care of kids and, brushing, you know, taking kids to school and activities and just all of that normal day-to-day -day stuff. So because being a mom is busy and crazy, um, I try not to overwhelm myself. So I try to focus on one to five things and then I have like a if time. So let's say, you know, some there's, there's days I'm able to get things done. The twins are napping. Mike isn't as busy with work and I can really knock things out. And there's other days where things just don't go as planned and you know, I can't get to that stuff and that's okay. And then when I sit down throughout the week, when I make my grocery list, um, I write down what we're having that week for dinner. And then I come in, write it on here. And this sits on the side of our fridge. Um, we added some strips of magnets and this is good because Avery can see it, Mike can see it. Everyone has an idea of what we're eating. And then here I always write down things that we have in our freezer so when I just need something quick for lunch or you know just something when I don't feel like cooking or something and I'm like oh yeah we do have a you know we have hot dogs in the freezer So here on night two, Avery had basketball. So Mike was with her at basketball and I was hanging with the twins um, and they gave me the, well, they didn't really give me the thumbs up for chicken Alfredo, but you know, they loved it, which means they gave me a thumbs up and they, um, you know, have been crank cranky lately with their molars, come two year molars coming in, but they still ate. So, um, 
But yes, after we ate dinner, I wanted to try to get started on my night of cleaning because I knew I had a lot to get done. So Mike was still gone with Avery and I was attempting to get laundry done just so I can get things started before they went down. And as you can see, it was pretty chaotic, but I had so much on my plate. I just wanted to get started before they went to bed. And they made it really difficult, but you know, you just got to get it done sometimes. Um, so they like to feed our dog Reese. Our, our dog Reese's uh, food and water is in the laundry room and there's a little scoop and they like to scoop out the food and they just keep saying more, more. They want to keep giving Reese food. Um, so there was a lot spilled on the floor, but that's okay. Uh, but this is what I did. So I folded the laundry and then I got the girls down, ready for bed, put them in their beds. And then when they were confined I and relaxing before they actually went to bed, I was picking up their room, saying goodnight and finishing up. Then I was going to finish up the rest of the upstairs. So that is Emery, and then you'll see Addison here. So they were drinking water. Um, we give them a little bit of water before they go to bed now because we recently took away their pacifiers and they still need something at night to kind of soothe them and relax them. And so we've been giving them a little bit of water to transition them off of um, no pacifiers. And honestly, it's going pretty well. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but it definitely hasn't been the hardest thing. I kind of find that it takes them a little bit longer to fall asleep for their naps or bedtime than it used to when they could have pacifiers. But other than that, they never ask for them during the day. They don't cry too long at night. So it really hasn't been too bad. And I kind of think about how crazy it is that they're done with pacifiers. Really the only quote baby thing that we have left to do is potty train, which just blows my mind that my youngest, like there's only one more major thing. And then they're kind of big kids. You know what I mean? Um, but we definitely have a lot more time before that happens. They definitely show more interest than Avery ever did as far as potty training at their age. Avery had zero interest ever. And then all of a sudden, right before she was three, it was like a switch. Like she didn't even ever want to even try to go. Then it was a switch. She went and I don't even think we finished a whole pack of pull-ups. Like there was... It was like no interest whatsoever. Then she was potty trained and she never had an accident, never had one accident, um, never like barely wore pull-ups. Um, but now the twins definitely show more interest a lot earlier. And Addison specifically, she will tell us when she goes um, to the bathroom. She'll tell us when her diaper is full. And sometimes we've even recently had her crying when we put a diaper back on her. So they definitely show a little bit more interest um, in potty training, but we're not rushing it because I know from Avery when they're ready, they're ready. So, um, and they just turned two anyways. Um, but I think that when one is potty trained, the other one will quickly be potty trained because they just like to do everything together. I know it looks like the rag is just wet, but that was actually dirt and the camera doesn't do a really good job, doesn't do it justice in picking all of the dirt up, but it was actually dirt from the floor, which is pretty satisfying to see the actual dirt coming up from your floors. Um, but anyway, so what I had planned for the rest of the night was to pick up the master bedroom. I was going to pick things up off of the floor and vacuum the bed, the bed frame and the floor. Uh, vacuum the floors before going downstairs to organize a little bit in the pantry and wash and put away some fruit. I find that 
my kids, or I guess Avery, because she's the only one who can like choose a snack by herself. Um, if I have healthier snacks or food sitting out neatly organized, she's much more likely to grab it. And I know that with fruit, I sometimes like to have it washed and prepared for the twins so it's just there and ready to go. So a lot of times if I'm still preparing dinner or getting their meal ready to go, they just need something and I can just grab the fruit and throw it on their tray to give them a little appetizer. Um, or even for Avery's lunches when we pack, sometimes we're rushing around in the mornings if I didn't pack the night before and it's just nice when the fruit is already prepared. Slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, so give me, so give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it tomorrow. All right, so before I got to organizing some of the pantry and putting groceries away, I wanted to try the pink stuff. You guys have recommended it to me, so I was ready to give it a try. Our stovetop was pretty messy, and a lot of the stuff was actually burnt and stuck on there, and I didn't want to wipe it down at all because I wanted to truly put this product to test. I didn't want to use any other cleaners, so I just put it on there, and I let it sit for 10 minutes, and I can already see some of the burnt stuff coming up. So I was already impressed before I started wiping things down and then I just when the 10 minutes was up I sprayed it down with some water and then wiped it all up with some paper towels so I don't know the best way to apply this so if you know um, I guess here are my questions number one how do you actually apply it I just used my fingers just because it was the first time and I didn't really know what I wanted to do and then I ended up using paper towels which ended up being a big waste you know so i probably will use rags next time um so i don't waste a bunch of paper towels but let me know how you apply it typically how do you wipe it up do you use a rag do you use paper towels or whatever and then when um and then what do you use this to clean i cannot wait to try it on other things throughout the house but first impression incredibly impressed at the stove top i didn't even have to scrub at all at all and it got everything up and the pink stuff claims that it's a perfect for hard surfaces, tough on stains, penetrates and removes grease and grime, leaving shiny clean results using 100% natural cleaning particles. I had recently went to the store and gotten some fruit and granola bars healthier granola bars and then some snacks. So I was lining them up in the bottom of the pantry and Avery, honestly, she loves seeing them all lined up and organized. She always compliments me and she's much more likely to want, you know, a healthier snack, a granola bar or some fruit if she can see it right there out in front. And I don't know if something, I, I, I don't know, there's just something when I go back from the grocery store, I come back with healthier snacks. If I can find the time really quickly to organize it, it just, I don't know we eat it quicker she grabs for it as opposed to asking for an un more unhealthy snack um, and i like to do it as often as i can but i just don't always get to it but tonight i was like all right i'm gonna spend 15 minutes and just do this right now I've also been on a kick of eating a lot of fresh berries as it's warming up a little bit. Now, obviously, you guys are like, well, wait a minute. You have a fireplace on. You're wearing your Christmas pajama pajamas, uh, but it has been warming up. We've had some warmer days. I personally start to crave fresh fruit more, um, and I know my girls have been eating more, and I think kind of that's my goal for the summer is to have as much fresh fruit as we can around I'm more likely to snack on it if it's there and prepared. And then I know, I mean, the twins love being outside in the summer and I know Avery will be, you know, outside a lot. And I think if we can have a lot of cold, fresh fruit around, um, I think it'll be a perfect snack throughout the summer. All right, so it's the end of the night. Mike and I are gonna fold this load of laundry together. He's already got started. So we're gonna fold it together so we can at least relax a little bit tonight.
we are gonna go ahead and get the laundry all put away and stacked up outside of the girls' bedroom, put our laundry away, and I think that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, as always, for sticking around the entire video. It means so much to me that you guys not only watch my videos, but you leave wonderful, nice, supporting comments, but you stick around to the very end. Thank you, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for Sunday's video. There will be a brand new video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.